We're going to do the butt tip, cut tip, and then we're going to do the butt tip. Okay? Excellent. So one, two, three, four. Congratulations. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? That's how quick it is to learn the very basics of human beatbox. However, if you want to develop, it's going to take a long, long time to dedicate to learn the other stuff, like all the weird sounds that you heard me do, okay? But if you can nail this, you can change the genre of it. So now we're going to change it up a little bit, okay? Team A, make some noise! <laughs> Team B, make some noise! <laughs> okay, you've got some competition now. <laughs> Let's go! Good! Excellent! And hold it there. Who do you think, Miss? Team B, who do you think so? Now, I'm going to say some stuff throughout this session. And it's good for you to probably take some notes because I'm going to quiz you right at the end. There'll be a couple of questions. So, human beatbox is a universal language. The reason it's a universal language is because if you're from Germany, from the continent of Africa, or if you're from India, or if you're from the UK, from Spain, from France, anywhere in the world, if you can't speak the same language natively, when you create music, you're all in sync. You're able to communicate with other musicians. So these letters would not change. So if I jammed with another beatboxer, these letters will not change. The only thing that can potentially change is the pronunciations of them. So that B could actually be a P. It depends how you hear it, pronounce it. But the fundamentals and rhythm of them are exactly the same. So therefore, human beatbox is a universal language. 